Strongarm takes a very consultative approach to running a program uh, and account management. We don't implement this technology and expect a client to run with it because with any change uh, in an operational sense, there's a bit of change management that has to happen. It's a new data stream that no one necessarily knows how to understand. Uh, and so there's an educational aspect to this. Um, and we are in lockstep with you throughout the entire life cycle of a program. Every client gets a dedicated client manager uh, who is relationship oriented. Uh, you get a dedicated solutions engineer who's responsible for IT, security, and all troubleshooting. And you also get a dedicated data analyst who's responsible for your reporting and analysis needs. We run a very tight pilot process. Um, it's a two-phased approach uh, that we've had great success with. In the beginning of the program, the first phase we call baseline. And what happens during baseline is all program participants uh, wear fuse on a shift-by-shift -shift basis, but we are not providing them with real-time alerts from the device. We're not using the data to try and affect the, the risk uh, that might be present uh, in the job functions or the facility. And the reason for that is we're trying to get a really good reference point of where the risk lies and capture risk profiles for all of the cohorts that participate in a program. So shifts, job functions, and individuals without muddying the waters um, through some of the inherent injury prevention mechanisms that we have in the platform. Um, and the second uh, phase of the program is what we call the intervention phase. It's where we use uh, what we learned in the baseline to then attack the risk that might be present in the facility, in the job functions, in the shifts that are participating. And that comes in the form of safety solution implementation. It can be a mechanical uh, intervention, such as implementing an exoskeleton. It can be trying to affect behavior change using the sensor itself through our haptic feedback. Uh, those are vibration alerts in layman's terms. It can be administrative changes, like implementing a stretch and flex program, job function rotation, uh, or it can be uh, engineering out the risk uh, through engineering controls. Uh, the key thing is that the Fuse allows us to quantifiably measure the impact of the safety solutions. And we do that by looking at how risk is affected from baseline to intervention on a solution by solution basis. Um, and through that, we're able to get to a pretty good idea of what payback would be from an injury prevention standpoint, which of course is important when a client goes to make a decision about whether the platform was valuable in context um, and if it makes sense to scale it over their wider workforce.